Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 3rd, 2023. Let's get into it. So, man, I tell you, <laughs> there's always too much stuff to cover. I, I can never get to where I need to go. But uh, the, the one thing that I found out, I was listening, I did a major hike today, by the way, and uh, so I was listening to the radio and uh, I can't remember the commentator. He was talking about how single white females vote strictly on abortion. And I, uh, well, I guess I can kind of understand that. Uh, they don't want kids, so they want to abort themselves. Uh, but, I mean, when you look at it, they're winning all across the nation. I mean, you know, so what? Roe v. Wade got overturned. And uh, or Ohio right now, you can you can abort a baby all the way up to the last trimester. So what's the problem there? So in Ohio, you can abort babies. You, even here in Florida, you can go up to 15 weeks. California is up to the final trimester. So it seems to me they're winning on the abortion uh, issue. Uh, I don't know why they feel they need to vote Democrat. Uh, because it seems like uh, Republican states are, are actually, I mean, look at Ohio. It's a Republican state. They they gave uh, abortion all the way up to the final trimester. So I, I just don't see where they're losing on this issue. Doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, and so most, well, a, a lot of Republican states have more liberal abortion laws than the Democrat states do. <laughs> I mean, I, but but the Democrats win all the single white women votes because they think that the Republicans are out to take away their ability to, to suck that baby right out of their womb. I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so um, and, and in my previous video, I wanted to point, I always like to point back and point forward. Uh, my previous video was at the January 6th, uh, insurrection insurrection was a hoax uh, i hope you watched that video uh you know what let's just uh let's just break off here two seconds because i wanted to get into a comment on one of my videos and this is a young woman who follows me and i, I didn't know she was young i uh, and i well definitely not give you her name uh because i uh, obviously i'm buried in the youtube algorithm and i'm not uh very uh I'm buried on X, and uh, how the hell she found me, I don't even know. And, and in fact, she said at one point she wasn't even getting notifications that I was still posting videos. <laughs> but she somehow sticks with me. And, uh, and so this is her comment, and I just wanted to give her some, some, some lip service here. America is done. Okay, and I thought this was fantastic. Know how I know it? Because everyone at my university, and so that means she's still in school. I didn't know this young woman was still in school. Uh, thinks Zelensky is a hero, <laughs> which is outrageous. <laughs> oh my God. This coke sniffing actor that's in charge of a Ukraine and has embezzled uh, millions and millions of dollars. He's a hero to all of these young college students. If you tell them Ukraine is losing, they say it's a Russian, it's Russian propaganda. Well, I wonder what they're going to say when the war is over and uh, Russia has just well, my God, they, they, they've killed every Ukrainian. And now the women and children are coming to the front line. And I say children, teenagers. Uh, let's see. They say it's a Russian propaganda. Soon they will graduate and enter the workforce. And I think this is our major problem because these uneducated, uh, uh, brainwashed uh, young people that, that, you know, they're going to enter the workforce. And this is how we got, you know, well, look at Disney right now. I mean, Disney is just falling by the wayside. I, I, all these corporations are being run by idiots. I mean, my God. So this is the future of America has to look forward to. And I totally agree with her. And I wanted to start with that. We'll go uh, We'll go into X. I got, by the way, I'm, I'm getting good at these bookmarks now. Uh, let's go into bookmarks, all bookmarks. And we'll get to that here in a minute in the video. So let's continue on with uh, what's in the news. Um, well, Mar Marinka has fallen. Uh, and, and you know, with that, I, I want to get one of the main videos of this video. This is a, a Russian RT. Now, you know, I always looked at the Russians as like these, these super soldiers that, that they exist on the front lines and they're able to just withstand the cold. Uh, they're so good at it. And, 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 
Because they fought so many wars over the last thousand years. I mean, they seem like they they thrive in the wintertime. I mean, you know, when everybody else is dying and freezing of frostbite and 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 it doesn't have food, the Russians always seem to thrive. But this was this was this will show you what war is really like. Let's watch that video. <laughs> Across the front, it is much the same. Seasonal rains and snow have paralyzed logistics. But the war waits for no one. Under the cover of darkness along makeshift roads, we arrive at a forward artillery position. This is the 348th Regiment Artillery Detachment 2B9 Automatic Mortar. Four more shells launched at enemy positions. They're currently firing at planned targets. So these are Ukrainian dugouts, places where Ukrainian troops sleep the night. Again, very close to the front lines, about 800 meters away. Four by four, in about 40 seconds, due to the trajectory, they're firing right up and the shell falls. In about 40 seconds, we'll hear the uh, impact. Three bursts, one obviously didn't detonate. All day, all night, these guns harass enemy troops and positions. We don't count in tens, hundreds or thousands. We count in tons, tons, every day on average. Everyone works in shifts. Some man the guns, others take turns on the radio. This is a communications bunker. It is now early morning. We've uh, spent the night at this control point. A restless night, there's uh, a lot of work. So artillery relays, coordinates, instructions, commands. And it's been a, it's been a very loud morning. Outside, that is. There's a drone that, that hovered over us. And the problem is, the problem is the brilliant weather. After several days of fog and rain, today, both sides can let loose. Outside. American supplied cluster munitions whistle overhead. Underfoot, cluster bomblets litter the forest floor. This is one of the guns that's been unleashing hell on the Ukrainians this morning. Dozens and dozens of shells launched just again this morning. And they're still at it. All of these men are troops mobilized last September. They're now veterans, seasoned, tough, but yearning for a gentle touch far from here. Do you enjoy your work? It's not really a joy, it's just a duty. I'm sorry, my country. I'd like this all to be over quicker so I can go back home to my wife and daughter. How old is she? My daughter will be a year old soon. 
So she was born and you left for the war? No, my wife was still pregnant when I was mobilized. I saw her for only 12 days when I was on leave. Now she's already walking. The duty is always a heavy burden. It sometimes hurts, but they soldier on, determined to stand tall and proud when they finally come back home. Morad Gazdiev, RT from Lugansk region. Wasn't that interesting? So there you go. Uh, of course, now we got the war in Gaza. I, I, I put up a video yesterday uh, from RT. Um, it's horrible. Uh, 200 more Palestinian civilians have died in the last day. The last day with the continued bombing. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I hear the, the warmongering Democrats, the bloodthirsty warmongering Democrats, they're saying, oh, don't bomb southern Gaza. Don't bomb southern. Oh, hell. The, 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 the Israeli Zionists, they, they want from the river to the sea. And everybody says, well, that's a Palestinian phrase. It's a Palestinian. No, the Zionists say the da same damn thing. They're going to blow the shit out of southern Gaza and they're going to kill another 15,000 civilians. So don't tell me all that bull crap, uh, you right-wing lunatics. So uh, we all sit in the West box as Israel kills Palestine. However, the rest of the world does not. Well, let's look at the latest protest in Yemen. <laughs> Wasn't that interesting? Wasn't that interesting? And so, you know, Yemen's taken what four Israeli ships, and they're you're, uh, they're launching missiles into Israel. And now that Israel is is is, is stepped up the the war, I imagine Hezbollah is going to be attacking from the north, and uh, Yemen's going to be attacking from the south. I, by the way, the one thousand ship armada that was coming down from Turkey, I I, I guess I don't know Erdogan. I thought he was going to rise to the occasion and do something about this whole genocide that's taking place. And I call it a genocide. You might want to call it uh, collateral damage, as uh, a lot of my right-wing lunatic friends want to say. Uh, but you, you, you say it however you want it. Uh, but, yeah, no. Anyway, let's just keep going. So Netanyahu, Netanyahu is now labeled. And by the way, this is going around the whole world. The Butcher of Gaza. <laughs> I thought that was... I, you know, I, I, I want to laugh, but I want to cry, right? I want to laugh, but I want to cry. He is literally the Butcher of Gaza. And, and this is what's being echoed around the world, around the Arab world and Russia. Uh, well, maybe not in China because they got censorship there. But I mean, I imagine in India, uh, the, the rest of the world, they're calling them the Butcher of Gaza. Uh, this is not a good look for Israel, but you know you you make of it what you will. Uh, and so, uh, like I said, I was I was very disappointed in the Turkey uh, uh, armada. You know what? Let's uh, let's let's while while I'm sitting here, let's let's just watch some Russian artillery in action. <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. So we'll just we'll be finishing off this video in just a second. Yeah, this is definitely I I wanted to, to film some of it. But you know what? I, I can't steal other people's material. And if you don't follow the Babylon Bee, especially on YouTube or uh, even on Rumble. And, and well, that's where I find them on Rumble. I don't even know if they're on YouTube no more. By the way, I, and we're going to get into what YouTube and Google are doing. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out the Babylon Bee. It says, 
Uh, the price is rising with Joe Biden. <laughs> that was a, it's their next to most recent video. Oh my God. It's like the new, uh, the new video that just came out from the Daily Wire. Uh, what, what the women, you know, what, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, ballers, the ballers, the women ballers or something like that. But anyway, you got to check this out. Uh, it, 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 I, I have never laughed so hard in my whole life. I was falling out the chair. It's called The Price is Rising with Joe Biden, the Babylon Bee. Uh, check it out. Check it out on YouTube or Rumble. So I did want to talk about the YouTube algorithm and Google. And uh, so I was watching some videos about how they have uh, injected artificial intelligence into their algorithms to suppress people like me. And that's why I only get 10 followers uh, or, you know, and, and of course, on X, even X, uh, you know that the leader of X, not Elon Musk, but his his person in charge, uh, she's a, she was a Biden supporter. And uh, I, I think she's she's continuing the uh, uh, illegal suppression of people on X. And that's why I've, I've only got, what, 600 followers on, on X. Uh, last thing, I uh, will just finish off with a couple of things. Electronic cars are dead. <laughs> the... Uh, the idiots at Ford Motor, GM, and, uh, well, I don't know. Is Chrysler still in existence? I didn't even hear them mentioned in the, in, in the commentary. Because uh, they, they're building electric cars at the direction of the Biden or the Democrats. Uh, the Democrats, let's just not call it the Biden administration because he's not in charge. He, he's just a walking meat puppet. But, uh, you know, and so now they're realizing that only 7% of them are selling. <laughs> and they realize the electrical grid can't handle... Uh, Everybody plugging in their electric cars without nuclear power or uh, or coal-fired plants, which they've all shut down. Uh, you think windmills and solar power is going to uh, fuel all these electric cars? No, hell no. I, by the way, I do want a Cybertruck. Check out the latest on Elon Musk with the Cybertruck. It's awesome. It looked. Uh, it, it finally rolled off the line. Sixty thousand dollars is what the what the starting price is. On the Cybertruck, man, wouldn't it be great to have one of those? Uh, but it's all electric, so once again, without a power grid, you, you're not going to do a whole lot. Uh, oh, by the way, I you know I wanted to promote. I put solar panels on the roof, and I've got a video coming up, future video. I'm going to let you know how this all works out, whether I did the right thing or the wrong thing. They did a fantastic job, it looks to me, installing them. Uh, the quality of the equipment and the panels and the, the, the work in my electrical box, because I'm an electrician, uh, it's top notch. So we'll see where all this goes. I'll make a video on that in the future. And, uh, and so then what's amazing is the Japanese, you know, they're, they're not dumb. They're, they're continuing their hybrid. They're, they're getting away from electric cars. Toyota's getting away from electric cars, and they're going to work on hybrids. That's it. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.